So we've talked about ways to lay out the content on a page, but over time, you're going to get a lot of pages, a lot of databases, a lot of stuff in here. You need to think about how to organize that. And that'll be specific to each person. I don't want to get too much into that, but I want to show you just a few things that may help. So first, we made a page called My Books, which showed up under content as My Books. If we go to My Books page and then add a new page in here, we'll do slash page and say that one book. That now shows up in here under that. So you can nest as deep as you want, which can be quite useful for organizing what you have. Uh, if you want a system for that, you may already have a system in place, in which case go for it. If you don't, the para system could be a good place to start. And this is a system from Tiago, Tiago Forte, uh, where he suggests you put content in four main buckets for projects, areas, resources, and archives. And I'm not going to get into the details of that. He has some great courses on that, some great instruction. Um, but if you know how you want to arrange things, you have a good system, go for it. If not, I encourage you to look up Tiago Forte's para system. But ultimately, it's just sub sub items under sub items and how you want to organize those together and paying attention to that. If you just pile stuff in here, it's going to get messy pretty quick. Um, it's not meant to just dump stuff in. It's meant to be a place where you put things with a purpose. Um, and Tiago's para system would be a good way to do that. You can do it how you want. But I encourage you to think about that before you go too far down the road of just adding pages and pages and pages and ending up with what could be pretty messy, because uh, Notion is, is very powerful if you do it the right way. So take some time to think about that, dig into Tiago's stuff if you need, and then work on keeping things organized over there.